Before lighting the Bunsen burner, make sure you have all your supplies. Place the tube into the gas jet. After you put that tightly, light the match first before turning the gas on. <laughs> Once you have the match, you can light the gas. Place the flame over the Bunsen burner and then you'll see a flame about to appear. Once you have that, you can adjust it to any setting you want. You can make the flame higher or you can make it lower. But you want to make sure that you have a little blue flame in the middle because that's the hottest part and that's what you're going to use. Before doing the oxygen test, make sure you have bleach and hydrogen peroxide. You will use a funnel to pour these into the graduate. First, you will pour the hydrogen peroxide into the test tube. Before you pour the bleach in, you will light the wooden splint. Once it's fully lit, put it out a little bit, but make sure the tip is still glowing. After that, you can finally pour the bleach and then put it into the test tube. If it starts to relight, that means you have oxygen. Before starting the test, make sure you add the magnesium into the test tube. Once that is done, for our test, we added three molar HCl and we use five milliliters of that, but it varies per each experiment. But before we added the HCl, we made sure that we lit the wooden splint. Once the wooden splint is fully lit, keep it fully lit. Do not try to put it out. Then you can add the HCl. Once you add the HCl, put the wooden splint over the test tube. The popping noise should indicate the presence of hydrogen. For this experiment, we are going to start by filling the beaker with water. This is so we can put out the match after the wooden splint is lit. In the test tube, we have calcium carbonate prepared. And in the graduate, we have lime water and a wooden splint and matches. What we are going to do is then we're going to take the wooden splint and we're going to light it. We're going to keep this lit fully. Next, you're going to take the lime water and put it into the test tube where the calcium carbonate is. Next, we are going to put the wooden splint in the test tube. If you see the presence of smoke, you will see that carbon dioxide was produced.